so hello viewers in this lecture we will discuss about the reaction of the carbene so carbene undergo insertion reaction into sigma bond or pi bond this is the first point carbene reacts with an alkene to give the cyclopropane derivatives and the mechanism depends on carbene is singlet or triplet so here in example cis 2 butene reacts with under this condition we form the dibromo carbene this is the bromo form in the presence of a base potassium tetrabutoxide it will give us dibromo carbene which is a singlet carbene okay later on we will discuss how it is formed this cis 2 butene gives cyclopropane derivative which is cis and another which is a trans 2 butene under the same condition if it gives trans cyclopropane derivative so cis 2 butene gives cis cyclopropane derivative trans 2 butene gives trans cyclopropane derivative so this is called this reaction when it is reacted is cis gives the cis product when the and the trans gives us the trans product this is called stereospecific stereospecific means the stereochemistry of the product is dictated by the stereochemistry of the reactant so here we discuss how this uh, dibromo carbene is formed as you know this uh, bromo form has only one proton and these three bromo groups have negative inductive effect which make this proton acidic here the base potassium tetrabutyl peroxide it takes this proton and this uh, single covalent bond as you know it has two electrons with the opposite spin make it carbonyl when this base take the proton it make carbonyl and then this one of the uh, halogen leaves bromide ion leaves and it give us dibromo carbene intermediate so this dibromo carbene it is a singlet because as you we know earlier as so this this process is take place through the ionic mechanism so here the singlet carbonate has sp2 hybridized carbon so this has sigma bond with this bromine through sp2 s overlap and then this is also through the sp2 one of this sp2 orbital of the carbon overlap with the bromine and this has the two electrons which is the here the two electrons non the valence electrons or non bonding electron it comes in the one of the sp2 orbitals both are come in the same orbital and one empty 2p orbitals is on the carbon so this uh, according to the coulomb's law these two electrons when in an orbital occupy the same orbitals they have maximum repulsion because these two electrons repel each other so maximum electrostatic repulsion according to the coulomb's law so this singlet carbene it is uh, at higher energy due to these repulsion of the electrons because they have occupied the same orbital sp2 orbital so this singlet carbene is at higher energy if it is at higher energy then it is uh, more reactive so this reaction occur in a single step or concerted reaction so when it reacts with the cis 2 butene here it is the pi bond which is uh, formed through the parallel overlap of the these p orbitals which has the one electron so it uh, occur in a single step these two electrons make the bond with this carbon and this carbon a new sigma bond is formed and then this two electrons which make this sigma bond here with this so reaction occur in a single step that is why the product is cis give the cis cyclopropane derivative so here is the reaction of the trans 2 butene with this dibromo carbene 
This again the same concerted reaction in a single step. So it uh, what happened is it formed the new sigma bond here. So the both electrons with the opposite spin to make the new bond. So the stereochemistry of the reactant is preserved in the the same stereochemistry is preserved in the product. So trans give us the trans product, whereas the cis alkene give us the cis cyclopropane derivative. So as we discussed, as the trans 2-butene give us the trans cyclopropane derivative and the cis 2-butene give us the cis cyclopropane derivative. This is called stereospecific. So the stereochemistry of the reactants is preserved in the stereo, as such in the in the product. So this is called stereospecific. So, so singlet carbenes undergo in a one step concerted reaction to form the product. So the reaction is of the singlet carbene is are stereospecific. So we are discussing the reaction of the carbenes. This is the other example. We are discussing the insertion reaction of carbene into pi bond which where it will is forming the cyclopropane derivatives. So here the, another example. This is the diazomethane when it's uh, uh, in the when it is thermally or photochemically we give the energy it generated the carbene so which is called the simplest carbene methylene we can show it in, oh, oh, here in homolytic cleavage when one electron goes here and other electron goes here from this uh, bond and then this one electron is goes over here on the carbon to generate this carbene or we can show it in the heterolytic cleavage of this bond carbon nitrogen bond to give the methylene carbene and the nitrogen is the byproduct which is eliminated. So the carbene here generated it could be a singlet carbene where when this carbon is sp2 hybridized this will make the sp2s overlapping this sigma bond with the hydrogen and then this carbon with sp2 and s orbital will overlap to make an other sigma bond with this hydrogen here the two Venus electrons it will occupy uh, the same if uh, one orbital sp2 orbital and this orbital 2p orbital on the carbon will remain the empty so this is the form of the singlet carbene so singlet carbene they as as I had discussed earlier that according to the Coulomb law an orbital when the both electrons with opposite spin occupy the same orbital then their maximum electrostatic repulsion between these two electrons. So singlet carbenes have less stable and more energy. So when it has more energy then it is more reactive. So it needs uh, so what, this is converted into here you can say this is uh, when this one electron is uh, leaves from here and occupy this empty 2p orbital then this is the, the singlet so more the singlet is more stable because now one electron single electron is in the orbital so according to the Coulomb's law now the electrostatic repulsions between these electron is minimum because they now occupy different orbitals so triplet carbene is more stable so more stable means it is uh, less reactive so here we go when this uh, diazomethane in the presence of uh, when we give this energy when it generates the methylene carbon now this uh, methylene carbene reacts with cis 2 butene either in, in the form of singlet carbene or either it reacts in the form of a triplet carbene so the products are different so how when it reacts uh, this uh, when this diazomethane in the presence of light when this uh, methylene carbene reacts with 2,6,2-butene it gives this product when it reacts in the form of the triplet carbene now this uh, you can see this stereochemistry of the 2-butene uh, is cis both the methyl groups are on the same side so this will give 60% or about 60% this gives the uh, cis cyclopropane derivative and 13.3% it's give the trans 
cyclopropane derivative where this two methyl groups are trans so this reaction is called stereoselective when this reaction is stereoselective it's you can see, assume that this and uh, methylene carbene it's reacts in form of triplet so here when it's reacts uh, here it gives a uh, exclusively cis products in 99% so in this case the singlet carbene is involved because it's given now stereo specifically now this is a stereo chemistry uh, of the 2 between is cis and the product which is formed is also cis so I will explain the this uh, how this uh, triplet. The later on, we already explained the mechanism of the uh, for this one when it's uh, for the singlets uh, in the previous one previous lecture. So it's uh, previous slides. So as we are discussing the mechanism for this triplet carbene, here in this case the when diisomethane reacts. In the photochemically with this cis 2 butene, it's in the presence of perfluoropropane as the solvent C3F8, so that the maximum number of collisions of this diazomethane, so that the triple carbene reacts with this cis 2 butene. In that case, there is mixture of the two products are formed. One is with the cis cyclopropane, other is the trans cyclopropane. So. Uh, this mechanism uh, this is now explained here when triplet carbene reacts with the cis 2 butene now this is a free radical reaction so as we already discussed uh, that the stability of these carbenes singlet carbene is uh, more uh, is more energy whereas the triplet carbene has less energy and more stable so it reacts uh, in a free radical manner so when it reacts uh, here in this case one electron is this is the double bond here and these uh, as the, this is the pi bond is formed through the parallel overlay so when this one electron and the one electron is here makes a new sigma bond here with this uh, two electron has the opposite spin and here you can see uh, this is another sigma bond with the two opposite spin now this two electron here in the case of triplet carbene they have the same spin so they can't make the single covalent bond unless in this bond to form unless one electron flips its spin so it's one flip it's this is the slow step when one electron flips its spin then it can form the sing new sigma bond here so here in this one there is a free rotation around the single covalent bond so this rotates, when this rotates, this is the slow, then one other electron, it's changed its spin here. You can see, now this, when it's changed, this bond is rotates, spin of this electron is changed, and this is, you can see, this methyl is, and now it's, it's above the plane, now it comes below the plane, when it flips. So this electron uh, changed its spin. Now we can make the single covalent bond. But now stereochemistry is different. Now this uh, cyclopropane is gives uh, as we started from the cis 2 butene. Now this is formed the trans cyclobutene or product. Now when this uh, flip, uh, now this if this this uh, this one is uh, this electron changes flip, uh, then this will get uh, this will be in the same. Now this way again, now we can make the single covalent bond, new sigma bond here. This, now this electron and this uh, electron has opposite spin. So this way we can make the single covalent bond. Now this, now stereochemistry here you can see as we start from the cis to between. Now this stereochemistry is the same. So it gives the cis product is formed. So this is how the triplet uh, carbene reacts with the cis to butene. Now I, can, I think we can, you, you know, students will have the clear picture that how the triplet carbene uh, reacts with the cis 2 butene. And it gives uh, here in this case when we use the perfluoropropane as a solvent and then we give the, it gets the mixture of the two products. This, also this is formed in more proportion as compared to this one. The cis product is, as we start from the cis, cis product is formed in more proportion as compared to the trans.
So this is the explanation of the formation of the two products, sales product as well as the trans product. Uh, students, thanks for watching this video. Any comments or uh, question you can ask me. Uh, you can give the comments. Uh, thanks very much.